Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. I've been contacted by a number of employment agencies and employers who have asked me to upload a video concerning count ifs, sum ifs and conditional formatting in relation to the job tests that they carry out for prospective employees. So our goal is to look at this particular set of data it's only short but it's sufficient for our purposes and we want to count the number of cells that have white cats in them as you'll see there are two cells here none of the other cells have white cats we also want to add the number of white cats in those two cells there are three there's one in that cell and there are two in that cell so that's our goal to look at the procedure to perform this particular action so that you can confidently carry it out should it be on your job test questionnaire. So now we'll look at the next worksheet which is the procedure. How do we do it? Well first of all we're going to use count its and we'll put the answer in this cell here. So we're now in a position to insert our count ifs function here in this cell. So I generally find that when I want to insert a slightly more advanced function that I use the insert function button. And that opens up the formula builder over here where I can search for a uh, function that I need or use one of the most recently used. In this case count ifs has been most recently used on this computer. So I will click it and then I'll say insert function and Excel asks me what is the criteria range 1 it will be from D5 down to D16 because we're looking for the count of the word cat so I'll click the plus button and the criteria in here will be cat I generally click on the criteria because that saves me making any spelling mistakes We'll now click the plus sign because we now want to put a second criteria range in and that one will be E5 down to E16 and plus because we're now looking for the second criteria which is white. Any white will do. Now we can click done and Excel tells me that there are two cells with white cats. Here they are here two cells with white cats. Now what's the actual number of white cats? I don't want to go searching here for cells which have got white cats in them. I might have hundreds, even thousands of cells with various uh, data in them. So I use the sum ifs formula. And here, sum ifs, insert the function in that cell, and this time it says what is the sum range? Well, the sum range is from F5 down to F16. Then it asks me, what is the criteria in range 1? Well, range 1 is from there down to there. And the criteria itself is again cat. Plus, what is the criteria for range 2? The criteria will be the colour. So I select the range and then I say the actual criteria I want to look for is white, any white. Now when I click done, Excel will add for me the actual number of white cats in those two cells. So that's how we use some ifs. So now we've looked at counting uh, uh, the number of cells with white cats and then the actual number of white cats. Now having isolated the cells with the white cats in them, I need to now, for ease of identification, use conditional formatting. The first thing I do is to select the data here in the spreadsheet matrix and then in the home tab go to conditional formatting and use a new rule in this case it will be 
to use a formula to determine which cells to format and that formula will be equals and we use and because there are two columns involved and we open a bracket and we say the first one is dollar d5 equals cat comma and then dollar e5 equals in double quotes because it's text white we'll use the light red fill with dark red text that's the um, uh, default one and when we click OK there I see when I click away that the cells with the white cats in them have been conditionally formatted so that covers this particular procedure uh, you may well be asked to perform something like this in your job test so make sure you practice practice makes perfect Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.